Hello everyone, so today I'm going to review a foundation for all of you. So it's the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15. So I bought my it's Mac almost finished, that's why I decided to buy a new one uh, during Black Friday. And when I was in store, it was not available, so I needed to order it online. So the makeup artist there um, swatched it here on me. It looks pretty um it matches me perfectly but now i realize it is not that um matching to my skin tone but you will see later why so yeah i did bought i did buy the cushion foundation i think two or three years ago and i loved it so much it was the best um yeah because it was too long ago but that time it was the best cushion foundation i've tried and if i compare it with the moonshot moonshot is my best ever they're almost the same but i like more the moonshot but yeah, i really love the result it was so like it was so um so natural and it's not heavy look at my face that's why i wanted to try the foundation because um i noticed with um, cushion foundation they're done after a month and i want to after a month so I want to try something that would last me for months so foundation normally last me six months or even more like the MAC one it's yeah if I've had this or I have I've had that already for a year but I didn't use it uh, every day and like now that I used it because my cushion is done so yeah so now I will show you how it looks on me when applied so you will see how it goes on my face so now we will apply the foundation the foundation so we're just gonna shake it first so first i'm going to pump it it's really like watery consistency so i just distribute it like this first the this side oh i think i pumped so much and then I will use a puff I normally use the puff I'm and not. just spray two times and then distribute it so I I already applied my sunscreen and my um, primer okay. my primer is from elf so I'm still testing it out or what I feel about it so now we're gonna spread it Hmm, this foundation smells really like something in the hospital. <laughs> so, it's really light coverage, which I like, or maybe too light. So, this is the first layer, and this is without. It did cover a bit of redness, but not as covering as but not as good coverage as the MAC um, uh, my MAC foundation hmm I'll try to add more pump because I still want a bit more coverage okay let's see it really smells like uh, like um, betadine <laughs> I do like the smell of this foundation. So I think with this foundation I need to have a concealer because it doesn't cover good. So I think this would be perfect for people who have no um, imperfections, no blemishes, no redness at all. Like perfect skin because this doesn't cover so much but if you want like weightless like almost nothing kind of foundation this will be good for you i'll try to cover more add more here for my eyes under my eyes wait that's a lot okay no it will not cover like also the a bit the the darkness but not that much so this is how it looks 
Yeah, I'm glad that it really matches me good and I don't look like ashy or anything like that. So this is a perfect match for me. So I'm just going to finish my face and um, put bronzer and we will see how it goes later. Okay, now that I applied all over my face, I noticed that it's a bit dark for me because I remember with MAC, my face doesn't look as dark as this. But if you can see here, this is the MAC NC25 and this is the Bobbi Brown. So it's really dark. So this is still not a good match for me. But I can live with it but yeah I thought it's a good match but clearly this really matches me better the MAC NC I think I need to be the beige not the warm beige hmm too bad so now I applied all over my face and if you can see my redness are still peeking through so yeah it's not really a good coverage so if you it's really a light sheer to light medium coverage which is also good if you like that kind of effect but if you want to cover some things it's not that best for that um concern so yeah so this is how it looks after all my makeup so i don't see that much i will I so I don't see that much of um, redness anymore but I still want to cover like this area this side a bit here but the rest is okay but I feel like this is too dark for me I I feel like oh I'm using also the Jung Saimo cushion I will link it here so here so you will see how it looks it's really i feel like my face looks dark with this so i might try something else again because i don't like when my face looks so dark as this uh, i feel like i need to have a, a lighter um lighter than this so yeah i will i will check the description of this foundation Oh, look. So the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation SPF 15 water-based oil-free formula. Um, this water-based oil-free formula delivers undetectable coverage and fresh hydrated glow for the most natural skin-like finish, which I agree. In addition to weightless long wear coverage and hydration, the formula minimizes the appearance of pores, conceal imperfections. So the pores, hmm, I see my pores. It doesn't conceal it. Yeah, if you see, I still see my pores here and other side. And conceals imperfections, which is not true because I still see the redness and my pimples and delivers broad spectrum uv protection so it's only 15 so it's not that much buildable formula goes easily from light to medium i don't think this is a medium coverage this is definitely light and it's available right in wide range of shades for all skin tones paraben free phthalate free i feel i don't know how that you will pronounce it sulfate free sulfite free gluten-free vegan if you purchase okay what who it is for normal to oily skin types anyone who wants to wear water-based or water-based oil-free foundation oil-free foundation with a natural finish that's why it's really like runnery type water uh, runny type why is it different the lightweight water-based formula sinks into skin instantly helping to plump moisturize and boost skin's glow I don't think it's glowy <laughs> and sustained hydration keeps skin looking feeling fresh and ensures that color stay true all day the oil oil free for the oil free formula is enhanced with light reflective optic ingredients to give skin natural luminosity okay which I prefer I did try the cushion foundation and I love it more than this so this i don't feel like it's glowy it i didn't set it or anything like that but it turned matte 
I see like really my lines here. Uh, I really have wrinkles. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see it more with this foundation. Normally, I never notice it, but because I think it's too light, I really see it. Look at that. I never noticed that with other foundation. Hmm, that's not a good sign. So yeah, I will check in later how it will look uh, during the day after maybe six, seven or eight hours after work for sure. And we will see, but now I will cover my blemishes because I don't like normally with Mac, I, or even cushion, I don't even need to do this, but because it's too light coverage, I need to cover it like that mm -hmm. no I'm so sad to see that wrinkles there oh lord okay So yeah, this a bit okay. It's covered pretty good. Yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, I will let you see how it looks after six or maybe more than hours. And yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, by the way, the retail price of this is 45, I think. So I got it for 30% off in a uh, Douglas so that's why I grabbed the opportunity and ordered it while it's still on sale because normally Bobby Brown uh, um, rarely goes on sale so yeah so this is how it looks after seven or eight hours on my face so I didn't set it with any powder so as you can see my face really looks so shiny so it's best to really set it with powder I think this will be too much if you're ha if you have oily skin even if it's uh, like water-based because um, over time or after a few hours now I see the glow that it claims so uh, some parts are already fading and yeah I feel like my redness it's much more picking through and yeah I feel like I really need to um, set this with powder and this is how it looks using the front cam of my iPhone with flash so there's no flash bug as you can see and this is with at the back of the phone so it's really pretty good with um, taking pictures so yeah that was my review for the bobby brown skin foundation so i hope it was helpful for you i will still try to buy the beige the lighter version of this because i feel like it's this shade is still too too warm for me or yeah a bit darker i need to compare it because yeah i, st I feel like but with everything makeup on it looks okay but in person yeah i feel like i like how the, with my mac foundation looks i think that matches me perfectly than this so but with my, my neck it's not like really a great difference but i feel like it's still a bit dark what do you think um if any one of you wears beige uh you think do you think it will fit me please do let me know and around here like it's still um, you will still see, see your dry patches if you see that and and the pores it's not really like covering it good but for the rest with my face like around the face that that does not have imperfection it looks really good but like with lines Hmm. the lines is okay there I, I see it but this is really uh, for me this is really the worst <laughs> like my lines here I never saw this with other foundation but I'm really getting old <laughs> now I see wrinkles it's so sad 
so yeah that is my review over this foundation and yeah i hope it was helpful for you and if, and if you happen to be new here i hope you consider subscribing to my channel and if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up and yeah i hope i'll see you in my next one bye